Hi guys, so for this little video, um, I'm going to do something called a charm spotlight. I don't really have a very big charm update, so I'm just going to show you something that I made the past weekend. I actually only have three charms to show you and they're all inspired by this Kingdom Hearts Keyblade. And this charm here is my friend's. I saw it on his um, keys and he asked me if I could make some charms out of it, so I decided that I would try it out. I was actually very surprised to see this because I haven't seen it anywhere before. Um, he told me that he got it like six to eight years ago, so that's probably why. I know that you can buy a Keyblade on eBay. So this is the first one I made and I tried to make it look very much like the charm itself um, but with added color. And before anyone asks, I don't know if I'm going to make a tutorial on these blades only because it took a long time but if I get enough requests, I will try my best to make a tutorial on them. Um, but it might be a little while. So this is what I'm going to call the prototype. It was my first attempt and I looked at it and I was like, oh this is so plain, I really don't like it. So I took a break for like a day and then I made another one, so I'm going to show you the next two I made. So these are the next two that I made and I like it a lot better than the prototype. So you can see that this is different than the actual Keyblade because it doesn't have the little round part right here, the circles. There's no details on the golden part of the ring and it's just very plain looking in my opinion. For the next two, I took some more time into adding the details and um, I added in the little circles and I put in more details into the stem and I added in more like embellishments on the top parts of the keys. I even added the little Mickey heads. For the chains, I didn't have gold chain for the gold Mickey head so I just painted it with gold paint. I've never played Kingdom Hearts before, I know, shame, and um, I think this is the Mickey one. And then this one is the original. So my friend wanted the Mickey blade. So in both of these keys, there are long head pins in them. So if you try to bend them, it's really hard to break them because there's like the metal pin inside. And for the gold parts of both the keys, I used gold clay by Skull B and then painted it over with some gold paint. I felt like the gold paint really kind of accentuated the detail. So that's why I painted it over. This is silver. This is silver. The blues are Blue Pearl by Sculpey, and this black region here that's somewhat shiny as you can see is a mix of silver and black. If you guys have actually seen Kawaii Charm 831's Charming Creations from last summer, and if you haven't, I'll put that in the description box below. Um, she basically made a replica of the Kingdom Hearts Keyblade and it was so amazing and really realistic that I pretty much used her photo as a reference. Like, basing the prototype off of the original key was just really, you know, dull. And just looking at Kawaii Charm 831's creations, it was a lot more vibrant and fancy, so I really like that about her keys. So these are the keyblades I made based off of Kingdom Hearts, this metal keyblade here, and Kawaii Charm 831's keyblade. Let me know which one you guys like best in the comment box below. And I'm probably going to make a couple so I can sell them on my store envy. I'm not completely sure about that yet. But just let me know what you think, and thank you guys so much for watching.